So, DBX L. My low C, can in. Love it. Little tiny motor in it. Love that RC. So, I've been hearing a couple of guys talking about this DBXL E 2.0 coming out. And I'm like, big gap, ranting and raving about it, saying he's going to get it. And I'm like, man, I, I love mine. A little slow with the gas motor in it, but, you know, love the way it works. So, I had to do it. There it is. Showed up. I had to rush home and get it. Couldn't make a video of it. It was too dark last night. Um, they went ahead and uh, dropped this off for me. So, Horizon Hobbies. We're going to do a little unboxing today. New Desert Buggy. I know they make uh, a bunch of different styles. Of this RC, three different uh, paint schemes on it. But I had to go with this one. Yes, boys, the Fox Edition. I love the Fox Edition. As you see, my Fox Edition UDR, and now I got the DBLXE 2.0 in the Fox Edition. Let's get this thing out of the box. I'll be right back. There it is, the Fox Edition. What an amazing RC that this thing is. The paint scheme on this thing, I don't know if the camera does it justice. But I'm loving the new paint scheme. And I definitely like the new light bar. Oh yeah. So just a little uh, sneak peek. I wish I could run this thing right now, but I gotta get off to work. But I had to unbox it. So I gotta still make uh, some adapters for the batteries to get this thing running but look at this I love the wing I wonder if I can order that wing no it doesn't look like it maybe order that wing and put it on my K&N version because that wing this was really missing something on the back if you don't have the tire back there you know, so it's really, really missing something. They don't give you the tire. You, you got to buy one, I believe. And, uh, but this thing, oh my God. Big gap, you're going to be loving yours when you get it. This thing is, uh, it's really cool looking. Now, this one, I got to take a bunch of clips off to get the body off. This one, I was seeing CCXRC. It flipped open. So I think you just pull these pins. Yeah, there it is. And the body flips up. Which is definitely a lot better then pulling all those clips. The sheer, sheer size of this thing. Massive. New Spectrum system in it. Loving the new steering with the dual arms. I wonder if, uh, if I could buy that setup and stick it in that thing. Or even stick it in my other uh, low C to get some of my steering issues resolved. I like the way the dual batteries are. 
The shocks are humongous, and I like the little fox detail on these shocks. Definitely pretty cool. Now this has a uh, metal shock tower braces where if you look these are plastic shock tower braces on this one so steering servo as you can see one arm and I had a lot of issues with that as you see I got it kicked all the way out I played with that and played with that to get that thing working right so this system looking like they might have got that problem resolved The size of that motor, that Spectrum motor, look at that thing. Wow, that thing is huge. Sorry, ended up getting a phone call. Big old caps right on top of this uh, Spectrum uh, smart system. That's a huge diff there. Definitely rolls smooth for electric. Wires are tied down. Look at that thing connected to that uh, spur gear. Look at the size of that diff. All metal diff, that's pretty cool. Steering servo. Servo saver. You know, this reminds me of the X Max. This is exactly how the X Max is done. Mojave's done this way too. I'm sorry, Mojave, not the X Max. The Mojave's done this way. Just changing the control arm. This is how it was on the Mojave. I like the axle boots. Axle boots, pretty cool. Means you can grease them, keep them clean. Wiring's pretty cool. All snugged up. Yep, they got the washers in there for the body to hold that in there. Man, this thing is definitely pretty cool looking. Big fans on the back, but I'm digging this wing. I'm wondering if it's gonna last, if it's gonna snap off because it is definitely hard mounted. There's no flex to this wing at all. So if this thing starts getting up in a wheel stand, this thing's gonna get destroyed. Tire pattern's definitely different. As you can see. Really cool looking. You know me and my orange. Love uh, love the orange RCs. Orange, green, but uh, orange is definitely a favorite of mine. So just figured I'd give you guys a sneak peek of uh, my DBXL E 2.0. And uh, so I'm gonna get them both out. I'll run, uh, fire up uh, my gas one, and then uh, fire up uh, the Fox Edition. Let's see how it does. I'm hoping it uh, runs as good as it looks, because it is truly an awesome looking RC. Thanks for watching, guys.